Early voting in the primary election starts one week from today. New Mexicans will make their pick for a host of statewide offices. And for Republicans, the top race is to see who will take on Michelle Lujan Grisham for governor. Here are the five candidates running for the GOP nomination. There's Jay Block, Rebecca Dow, Ethel Maharg, Mark Ronchetti, and Greg Zanetti. KOB4's Matt Grubb sat down with each of the candidates, and every night this week we'll bring you one of those conversations. And tonight it's former meteorologist and 2020 U.S. Senate candidate Mark Ronchetti. Mark Ronchetti, thanks for taking some time with Matt, us. We appreciate it's it. My pleasure. Absolutely. So, question number one is the same one for everyone. What defines you? I think what defines me and our campaign is that we're sort of fed up with where this state is. And you can make a choice to continue to walk down that road or even talk about wanting things to be different. But if you don't step up and have the ability to change things, I think that's what makes us different. And we have the ability, number one, I think, to beat Michelle Lujan Grisham. And she knows that. And I think every other candidate in the race knows that. And we feel like everybody in the Republican Party is starting to coalesce around our campaign, realizing that there's a chance to really do something special here, but we've got to be pulling in the same direction. And it isn't always just Republicans. It's getting independents involved, getting involved Democrats who have had enough of a state government that doesn't listen to them anymore. Um, state Representative. County Commissioner, former mayor, retired Brigadier General, you get what I'm at here, and then meteorologist and Senate candidate. How do you convince voters that you're ready for executive leadership? Well, I think when you look at where we've come from, you have somebody in Michelle Lujan Grisham who's been in government for 20 plus years. You have somebody in Joe Biden who's running this country has been in government for 50 plus years. If the number one criteria you want is more government experience, I don't have that and I don't apologize for it. In fact, I think it's what's gotten us in the trouble that we're in. Um, not even the weather is apolitical anymore. Um, is, is climate change human caused? I think when you look at where we are right now, we have issues and how do we move ahead with it, right? And so when you see warming and, and everybody says we're warming and this is where we're headed, how do you deal with that? And I think we have a massive opportunity in the state of New Mexico. Nobody produces oil and gas more cleanly and efficiently than we do here. And I think the most frustrating thing is the far left has decided that they want to stop making oil and gas and producing oil and gas in New Mexico. So what's the solution to that? You go get it from Saudi Arabia and Russia, which not only produces more CO2, by the way, but it puts us in real jeopardy to world events here. We have an opportunity to grow our oil and gas industry. We need to do that. It's the cleanest in the world. And then we need to expand what we do with renewables, and we need to add to that nuclear power. So there are things we can do here, but we have to absolutely decide that we're going to invest in New Mexico to do it. And this president, when he came in, he said he wanted to end fracking. You saw gas prices shoot straight up. Here in New Mexico, we can be the solution to that, especially when we've got the inflation that we do. Um, the people who are watching closely are going to know that there wasn't an answer in there. The American Meteorological Society says it's real. There's a consensus on it. NASA does. So do a bunch of other organizations. What do you think? Well, I, I think when, we, when you look at this issue, I, I think that we do have to address the kind of, of energy that we use. There, there's no question about that. You know, when you go and you, you add CO2 to the atmosphere, there's, there are people that will tell you, oh, no, no, it's not pushing temperatures up. And then there are people that will tell you, it's absolutely pushing temperatures up here. But what we've got to do here is we can be the solution, whichever side you fall on that. You mentioned that. This is a political issue now. To me, we have the solution here that is apolitical. What can the state really do? Um, and in fact, what are they allowed to do since enforcing borders is the federal job. We lose one person a day to fentanyl overdose in New Mexico, and we're going to lose more and more that comes up from the South. The human trafficking is horrendous through this state right now. It's because this governor hasn't addressed it. So what do you do? A border strike force is a critical part of this. You absolutely can have state police, and again, under the Department of Public Safety, basically what you would call state police in this particular case, highly trained, and they will have two jobs. They will go after the fentanyl use and the fentanyl flow into the state of New Mexico and that human trafficking as well. What does that mean? It could mean drug interdiction stops. It could mean help along the border. But again, the border strike force is critical in the respect that we have to add more help. If you're successful in your run, would you advocate for or support um, a law or a constitutional amendment outlawing abortion? I think it, it, this, this broader issue is one where you start to look at, you know, what happens with Roe v. Wade and, and then what happens with the state here. Here's what I'll tell you. Most clearly, the fact that we have abortion up to birth here as a form of birth control, I think is not consistent with the values of the state of New Mexico. And so to me, we need to address that. 
And what does that look like? Does that look like a last trimester uh, ban, something like Matt, that? Matt, I think you have a legislature, which you'd have to work with on it. But to me, I just can't, I don't, I don't run into anybody in this state, especially in a state where we have the values that we have, that says, oh yeah, sign me up for third trimester abortions. I just don't understand it. And I think there's a lot of things, too much of politics, Matt, is all or nothing, is, is I want this or that, and, and, and you stand on your side and you fight it out. Well, to me, this is about life and about values. And I think we can, I think we can reach an agreement on it. Mark Ronchetti, thanks for your time. We appreciate it. Good to see you.